here I am at Super 8 in Longmont, Colorado, and we are next driving to Boise, Idaho. See you on the road. But first, I wanna get everything checked out. I'm gonna get an oil change, get the fluids checked, I'm gonna get the tires checked. Everything looks great and we're good to go. 1,000 feet, turn left onto West Flaming Gorge Way. Left at the fork. Hello from Wyoming. <laughs> Wyoming is... I've driven through Wyoming several times and I just love it every single time. Talk to you later. Oh, got to put on my driving glasses. Okay, we're ready to go. Utah, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Welcome to one of the most geographically astonishing states in the United States of America. I spent a couple weeks in Utah last summer and it was incredible. Uh, I'll link a video down below. Not a lot of people watched it. It was hiking southern Utah. It was a, a couple places that I hiked in southern Utah and um, oh, it was just amazing. Gather ye rosebuds while you may. <laughs> this is how my mind works. I was walking through this beautiful rose garden and then the thought popped into my head, gather ye rosebuds while you may. It's a poem and it's all about the brevity of life. And uh, so I don't know, now I'm thinking about roses and how life is short and you know, you gotta stop and smell the roses and all of these things, which is all true, even though it's cliche, but oftentimes, Things are cliche just because they're true. Nothing wrong with that. day in Boise, Idaho, and I actually just learned that most locals here pronounce it Boise with an S sound, and we outsiders say Boise with a Z sound, and I think either way is okay, but it's just more common here to say Boise. So from now on, just so I can act like I'm cool and I know stuff, I'm going to pronounce it Boise. I found the perfect spot to try potatoes. Look, there's blueberry ketchup on this. There's blueberry ketchup on this fry right now. And now that my belly is full of Idaho potatoes, let's visit the Idaho State Capitol. In the last video, I made it like a Colorado State Capitol waltz because I was in Colorado. I really liked that concept. I feel like the waltz music went really well with the grandeur of the Capitol. Sorry, it's really loud. So maybe I'll do that again. So let's see if we can do an Idaho state capitol waltz.
well, you can ring this bell. There was a tour guide who was touring people around, obviously, <laughs> and he had them ring the bell. So let's try it. Up underneath here and ring that thing. I definitely recommend that experience. <laughs> I wanted to check out this building behind me. It's called the Egyptian Theater. So I'll tell you about it in just a sec. Ooh, they're playing Catch Me If You Can tonight. I haven't seen that in a long time. Maybe I should go. So this building, when it was built in 27, 1927, um, it was inspired by the discovery of King Tut's tomb. Hold on, it's really loud here. King Tut's tomb was discovered in 1922 and this building was built in 1927. I, I guess they were like super inspired by this uh, discovery. It was an amazing discovery at the time. It was probably like all over the news and people were really inspired by it and it started this whole like Egyptian revival architecture thing and so this is one of the Egyptian revival buildings here in Boise and I now I have to go see a movie in it tonight because it looks really cool on the inside too. It is 9.30 p.m. so I thought I was going to be walking back in the dark but it is still light outside. So Boise has this vibe that I really like. It's very chill, quiet, but kind of, I don't know, it's hard to explain. There's still stuff going on at the same time. Hello Mr. President. I read a few things about this sculpture earlier today. Let me tell you what I remember. Um, it, I think it's a nine foot tall sculpture. It weighs 6,500 pounds. And this is actually a giant replica of a sculpture that's in New Jersey. You can hold hands with Abe Lincoln if you want to. Good morning, everyone. I had so much fun watching that movie last night. It was great. I hadn't seen that movie in years. Anyway, it is now the next day. I'm gonna go get some coffee. I'm in this cute little neighborhood um, called Hyde Park and there are some coffee shops and things down this way. It's a cute little street. for a couple days so I can't speak with any type of expertise really but I just want to say that Boise is an absolutely beautiful city did I say Boise the locals here are extremely friendly people here are very kind uh, very welcoming so far and the streets are clean the I mean people just generally seem pretty relaxed so it's been a really good experience I'm going to be here for a few more days I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing next week for the video but this is this week's video we will see where I end up next week anyway thank you so much for watching I really really appreciate it as always and if you feel so inclined please subscribe to the channel I will see you next week